a broad overview about SIBO diets and really more specifically why they work. Uh, because I think if you understand the principles behind the diets, it's a lot more empowering. And also then I think the diets are more effective. It's just really good. The more knowledge you have, I think the better. A lot of you probably know there are a lot of diets that can be used for SIBO. And I've listed eight here. And I have the resources for all these diets on the next slide. And so I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, now, out of all of these diets, the top four diets were specifically designed for SIBO. So now, why do we even use diet for in SIBO? First and mainly, it's to reduce symptoms, um, particularly while antimicrobial treatment is in process because antibiotics and especially herbal antibiotics can take some time to reduce symptoms. It depends on how high one's gas levels are. Uh, the, the antibiotics and herbal antibiotics can only do so much in a round, uh, in a course of treatment. And so we often need to do multiple uh, rounds of treatment to get the gas down and get the symptoms down. So during this time, you sure many people want relief and we use the diet to reduce the symptoms. Um, what I've done here is I've put what normal absorption should be like, what standard carbohydrate malabsorption is like, and then the SIBO malabsorption. So um, in the first picture, I've got uh, the X's are the food. This part's the small intestine. This part's the large intestine. So when food comes in, normally it, we digest it. It's broken apart. I, don't, I didn't really show it being broken apart here, but anyway, it's digested and then absorbed across the lining. But a portion of the food we can't digest, and that's fiber. So fiber is defined as anything that we don't have the enzymes to digest, and but bacteria do. So we don't digest it, we don't absorb it. It moves down into our large intestine, where it then is fermented by bacteria. And this is normal. This is what normally happens. This is OK. Um, it you know, helps our feed our microbiota and maintain our good, diverse microbiota. They make a little bit of gas, and we hardly even can feel that. It's no biggie. So this is normal. 